Hello and welcome to Turf Truth Tuesday where we look at claims in the turf grass industry and ask, are they true? If you're new to the channel you may like to subscribe to be notified of new content. The number of subscribers a channel has cannot tell you whether the information from that channel is true, and the following video is clearly evidence of that. Alan Hayne appears on a channel called The Lawn Care Nut, that has over 400,000 subscribers. Unfortunately, that means Alan has the potential to reach a very large audience. We say unfortunately because if the following video exemplifies his normal content, who knows how much wasted money and environmental issues he has caused as a result of his recommendations. The video we are looking at today is so full of BS, we lost track of it. So, to make it easier to keep up, we are going to pop a BS counter in the video today. Alan has a rather long introduction where he says he is going to show us three things that will green up your lawn. Let's skip the intro and get to the three things. This is my project lawn zoysia. And you can see how green this is. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how this got so green. And that is mostly because of nitrogen. And that's what this particular lawn needed for sure. Zoysia, just like Bermuda, is a little bit slower to get going. Even though down here in Florida, things are still are, are plenty warm and we have long days and all that kind of stuff. The zoysia, at least this zoysia here, I have noticed it just needs a little bit harder kick in the pants. And I started it slow. I like to do that. I start it with higher potassium, which we'll talk about in a minute. But I decided now that the days are longer, it's time to start kicking it in the face with some nitrogen. And that's what I did. Now I'll tell you, the lawn isn't perfect. This didn't make it perfect. It had some disease challenges, which it still does. I've stopped the disease. And uh, that's another thing, uh, just a quick myth. People think that nitrogen causes disease. I'll link up there in the eye to uh, a video where I talk about that because that's somebody reading university websites incorrectly. All survey said. While nitrogen does not cause disease, nitrogen increases the risk of disease and you are clearly implying it does not. That is simply not true. Evidence clearly indicates that high levels of soluble nitrogen increases turf grass disease occurrence. Implying nitrogen is not associated with turf grass diseases is not true. But uh, you know, you can see the place where the disease scars were, they're not cured. I mean, that's the whole thing. Nothing cures areas that have died back from either disease or insect or whatever. Those are gonna take a little bit longer to come back. But what you can see is, is that overall, the lawn is looking better. And that is because I put down nitrogen. So nitrogen is the first number on the bag of fertilizer. So whether you go to the store or whether you get what I link in the description below, the first number, when you see three numbers on the bag of fertilizer, the first number represents nitrogen. And this time of year, right now, May, when we're all running fast, you want that to be higher. You definitely want that to be up somewhere north of 20. All survey said. The fertilizer analysis is important information, but there is no evidence that indicates a high analysis will result in a quicker greening than a low analysis, assuming they are derived from the same source and applied at equivalent rates of nitrogen. Turfgrass can, and does, achieve acceptable quality using low or high analysis fertilizer, and there is nothing special about using a specific concentration of nitrogen. What is important is the amount applied. Now there's some different ways that the nitrogen can be delivered. Some of it can be slow release, some of it can be immediate release, and, and even those terms are a little bit suspect, but they don't necessarily describe what it is. But the long and the short of it is, if you make sure you get a product, and again, if you wanna to go to the store and get it, please do, something that is higher in nitrogen, you're gonna see better results quicker this time of year. All survey said. Not true. Again, it is the amount of nitrogen applied, not the concentration. Out of all the elements that we find in fertilizers, nitrogen is the most important. As I have often said, nitrogen drives the bus. All of the other elements ride along on the bus, but nitrogen is what drives them. This is true. Well said. When it comes to the overall look of the lawn, it's nitrogen that gives grass its basic green color. And that's because nitrogen makes up a large part of chlorophyll. All survey said. Not true. Chlorophyll contains 74% carbon, 9% oxygen, 8% hydrogen, 6% nitrogen, and 3% magnesium. So in fact, nitrogen is the second least component of chlorophyll. We don't want to bore everyone with a lecture on nitrogen and turf grass physiology. But in short, applied nitrogen increases production of amino acids, proteins, etc. The greening of the turf grass resulting from applied nitrogen has very little to do with the concentration of nitrogen in the chlorophyll molecule. It fills the green part of the leaves and the stems that you see. Light energy is taken in by chlorophyll and used to make sugars for the plant. We call this photosynthesis. Nitrogen is also very important when it comes to regulating plant growth. The more leaf surface the plant has, the more sun it can absorb. And of course that makes sense because that makes the grass thicker. Never forget, nitrogen drives the bus. If you want a green lawn, you'll have nitrogen in every single application you make all year long. 
So nitrogen is the first number on the bag of fertilizer. So whether you go to the store or whether you get what I link in the description below, the first number, when you see three numbers on the bag of fertilizer, the first number represents nitrogen. And this time of year, right now, May, when we're all running fast, you want that to be higher. You definitely want that to be up somewhere north of 20. All survey said. You just won't let this go. It is the amount of nitrogen applied that is important not the nitrogen concentration of the fertilizer. Okay, now the second element in the fertilizer that you wanna look for that's gonna help you get the greenest grass possible is potassium or potash. All survey said. Potassium never enters into an organic molecule and we have an enormous amount of evidence indicating that potassium almost never results in turf grass greening. More on that in a moment. Potassium does a lot of things for plants, a lot of things for lawns. Let's go over those real quick. The next element that you're gonna to wanna to look for in any fertilizer you purchase is potassium. When you look at the three numbers on the bag of fertilizer, potassium is the third, and you're gonna want this to be well above three or even four if you can find it. All survey said. Similar to nitrogen, the concentration of potassium is only one part. When a soil test indicates soil potassium is low, you will want to apply potassium relative to nitrogen. But stating you need a potassium analysis greater than three or four is simply not true. The long and the short of it is potassium reduces stress and a stress-free plant can be greener and taller and healthier and look more vigorous, which means it will dominate the stressed out lawns of your neighbors. So you can see potassium is extremely important, but one of the things that I like about it, again, we're DIYers, we have to have the visuals too, and that's part of what all of that I teach is, is I want you to get a healthy lawn, I want you to get healthy soil, but if I can help you get visual results along the way, then you're gonna go further, you're gonna go deeper, and you're gonna wanna explore more and learn more. But I gotta get you the visuals first. That's just how the world works, right? So potassium is another one of those, when it's higher in your fertilizer, it's gonna give you a green color. All survey said. <laughs> There is very little evidence that applied potassium will result in greener turf grass. The scientific consensus is that applied potassium results in increased turf grass quality only in extremely rare cases. We are not even going to bother listing all the evidence refuting your claim because there is too much. Simply read this chapter and the literature cited. And I've always said for many years that pot potash or potassium gives your lawn a truer green color. And that's really nice because it's that bottom end green, that nice truer, truest green. Not hunter green, but just that truest green color, that base layer of beautiful green. That's what potash does when you put it down. All survey said. Whether Alan is aware or not, he is engaging in repeated statements to create illusory truth. This is a common sales tactic used when someone is trying to convince you that what he or she is saying is true. This has been studied numerous times and in fact, it has been shown that people tend to believe a statement whenever it is repeated compared to when it is not. Regardless of whether it is true, people begin to believe it is true. Please don't be fooled, no matter how many times Alan repeats this statement, it is not true. Now when it comes to iron, we're going to mention a familiar term we've mentioned before, and that is chlorophyll. Iron is directly involved in the manufacturing process of chlorophyll and is required for many enzyme functions in the plant. The biggest reason we as DIYers prefer iron in our fertilizers is because it's what gives your lawn the deeper, darker blue-green color that truly dominates your neighbors. All survey said. You may believe this is true. But the evidence is very clear on this subject. Iron will not result in a greener turf grass except under two conditions. First, if soluble iron is sprayed on the foliage. Or second, if the iron is chelated in a form that maintains solubility at the given soil pH. Neither of these conditions are met by applying the fertilizer you are recommending. So iron is what gives lawns that blue-green color. And that kind of balances out the bottom end green that you get from the potassium as well as the straight up green and sheen that you get from the nitrogen. When you find a fertilizer that has all three of those in it, you are going to get results. You're gonna have a greener lawn within a few days after the application. Now, here's the thing. Each time you see these elements and there's a number on the bag, that number stands for the percentage. So for example, in this fertilizer here at 2406, that means 24% of that bag, everything in that bag is nitrogen, 6% of everything in that bag is potassium or potash, and then you can see here on the corner, 3% of everything in that bag is iron. The higher those amounts, the greener your lawn should be. It's literally that logical. All survey said. Turf grass responds to the amount of nutrient applied, not the concentration. One really important free resource that you can get right now. I'll link it below. I just wrote a guide on how to read a soil test. We already debunked that. 
I'll pop a link to the video in the description. I'll tell you a little bit more about soil tests in one second and then we'll be done with the video here. But a lot of you are gonna ask, okay, Alan, you showed us all this. The three elements we need are nitrogen, potassium, and iron. Where do I get that? Well, all of the lawns that you've seen here have been hit with my flagship blend, the 2406. Let's take a look at his flagship blend. First, earlier in the video, Alan stated he is in Florida. If that is true, this label is likely in violation of Florida Statute 576 Rule 5E-1.003. We see here the label states the fertilizer contains 6 units of slow-release nitrogen. However, here the label states 24% water-soluble nitrogen, meaning 100% of the nitrogen is soluble. No fertilizer can have 6 units of slow-release nitrogen and simultaneously have 100% soluble nitrogen. Now let's look at what is in the bag. We see it contains copper, iron, manganese, and zinc, all in the oxide form. This means all those elements have already been oxidized and will not be available for plant uptake, at least not within the next several decades. Well, we're waiting. Sorry Judge Smales, if you are waiting on oxidized micronutrients to become available, you are going to be waiting for a very long time. The remaining two elements, boron and molybdenum, have not been shown to benefit turf grass when applied in the field, so these elements are useless as well. So, what we have is a fertilizer with nitrogen and potassium. The rest of it is wasted money, and we mean a lot of wasted money. This flagship blend currently sells for $54.99. A fertilizer with this analysis, nitrogen, and potassium sources, can be purchased for less than half that price. Within the last couple, two or three weeks, that is what has produced this color. And by the way, that's not just from me. If you go on Facebook where a lot of folks are, are showing their results and you know throwing down and they've bought this fertilizer, you will see some of the things that they're saying. I don't have to oversell it or undersell it. All I have to do is just show you what they're saying. This, these are people just saying and showing their results. It works. We are really glad Alan did this. The amount of people using this product and their results do not tell us a thing about whether what you're saying is true. This is a common sales tactic referred to as the bandwagon fallacy. It is used in the hopes that people will believe it because other people believed it. Don't let it fool you. The number of people who believe a claim, tells us nothing about whether the claim is true. Now why does it work? And this goes back to the soil test. A lot of people will tell you these days, you can't do anything to your lawn until you get a soil test. And that is absolutely not true. Well, we certainly agree with that. Just as I mentioned earlier that I want you to get some visual results. I want you to see some progress in your lawn because I know when you see progress, then you're gonna go deeper, then you're gonna get the soil test. That is what flagship is for. Now it can be used for a lot of other things, but what I know about flagship is it contains those three elements plus some other minors. The other minors are useless as we stated earlier, unless you just enjoy seeing money burn. Well, there you have it. The lawn care nut thoroughly debunked. Something tells me we are going to be seeing a lot more of them. We hope you have a wonderful week and check back next week where we will be discussing this. So, in a good healthy soil system, you're looking for a calcium and magnesium balance to equal about 80% of that total. See you then.